hi welcome you to civilera.com and uh, in this video again we are going to discuss one doubt posted by one of our student in the course community so the student has sketched a slab and the doubt is how to support this particular slab now basically the doubt is that there is a huge cutout in the slab and how do we go about this so that's the question the student has so I will simplify this as much as possible. So here for more clarity, let me draw this in a bit more better way. So let me completely draw the back slab as well, the slabs in the rear side as well, and then it will be more clear to a beginner. So I will draw a slab here, say there is a slab, and then you have another one here, which she has drawn and then say you have a continuity on the right hand side as well so let us assume that you have another one here so let us assume that this is our slab system and say you have a column say you have a column i'm not really bothered about the column positions in this particular video i'm only talking about the slab supporting system so let us for the time being assume that you have columns here and these are beams now the problem she has is about this cutout so say you have another slab here a projection here and this is completely a cutout so the question is how do we support this particular slab so here you have a piece of slab which is projecting so how do you support this and the span here is 4.5 meters this span is 4.5 meters and the other span is a little larger this is 5.25 so it's sketched in the question itself so now how do we go about this is the question now there are quite a lot of ways that you can do this so i'm assuming or i had already communicated with the student and understood that the slab is at same level so this s1 and this piece of slab projecting and this s2 and this piece projecting are in the same level and this is hardly 225 this span is hardly 225 millimeters and this is around 950 millimeter so let me make it very simple i will cut a section here now if i cut a section there it would be something like you have a slab like this then you have a beam and you have another slab the back slab is two and this is your section at the cutout yeah i have not drawn until here i have drawn the section up to here only yeah so let me just make that correction the section is here now when that is the case you can very well make out now how you have to go about this so this is a continuous slab and this piece is very very small 225 only yeah anyways the bending moment diagram is likely to be something like this so if you are doing it manually manually as in by length theory method then you might have a zero moment here if you are assuming it to be simply supported in reality there will be a slight moment here so it's up to you so if you are using the IS 456 charts and designing then more likely you will have a zero moment there so let us take it as zero right now and you have a moment here you have something like this now since the span is very tiny I think this moment will be little smaller than the cantilever moment will be WL square by 2 and here you will get whatever moment with respect to S2 so you have to design S2 as per the caudal provisions and find that moment so let me assume that here you have another moment say something like X so between this WL square by 2 and X whichever is maximum you have to design for that so your detail would look something like this that is you have the top steel so your top steel would be something like this yeah so this will be your detail you won't need anything at the top you will have bottom rebar as well so you design at this junction you design it for your maximum moment so it could be from s2 or it could be the cantilever moment since the cantilever is very very small then I will not be able to exactly tell you if that cantilever moment will be larger or the other mo moment most possibly the other moment will be 
larger so that you can work out and decide but this is the way you can design this and detail this it's quite normal because this span is very very less so there is no problem now coming to the other section you have slight problem but not again a big one what is the problem the span is slightly more it's 900 or something it is not a huge span you can still do that so the section remains same if i cut a section here it would be looking exactly the same that is same what you have right here but the only difference is that you will have a little larger cantilever instead of 225 you have 900 and something 900 and odd 950 yeah it's close to one meter so it's not a big deal you can still design it for that cantilever so same method whatever top steel you have here you extend it like this there is no difference only thing is this bomb and wl square by two this l will be something like 950 plus the 110 if the beam width is 220 so something like this l will be so you design for that so i'm quite sure that you will be able to design for that particular moment 950 is not a huge span now in case if you don't want to do that due to some reason then you could look at doing this in a different way slightly wherein you can think this as a one-way slab here in this direction now the load need to go to this particular beam and to this particular beam and you will have to do it in that way yeah so here the spans are not great it is hardly 4.5 so you can treat this as a one-way slab in that particular direction but please note that there could be a redistribution and hence there are chances of very slight micro cracking because it will first try to cantilever and then try to span in the other direction in most cases so that's okay if you have ensured that your bottom steel for the slab is adequate for the spanning in the one-way direction that redistribution would happen and then finally the slab would behave as a one-way and in most of the times your redistribution will not result in any kind of crack even because you anyway have minimum steel in your slab in the cantilever direction and as long as the unfactored moment doesn't cross the capacity of the minimum steel you are unlikely to get even a crack even the load assumptions live load we have a huge margin there so it's unlikely that you will have a problem of cracking even so if you want to understand this redistribution and its effect a bit better you can look at our blog which explains redistribution in a very elaborate manner so i will leave that in the description so you can look at the youtube video description and then go to that particular blog so if you are reading my blog then i will leave that link to that particular blog in the blog itself i'll be uploading this video into the blog as well as into the youtube so it depends where you are seeing it if you are seeing in the youtube video then it will be in the description if you are in blog then that will be cross-linked anyway so you will get the information there wherever you are now in case if you are modeling this in etabs and then trying to interpret the result please ensure that all the slabs are modeled as shell thin so if you have modeled all the slabs as shell thin then you can interpret the moments and other forces whatever is required from e tabs and then do the design as well but if you are doing manually this is what i would suggest you to do so the best thing would be to cantilever this since 900 is not a huge span you will be able to achieve that and in a worst case you can span it in the other direction now spanning it in the other direction is sometimes needed especially when you have a level difference in the slab say for example if the section is not like this if you have the slab at a different level say you have an arrangement like this say your slab s2 is here at the higher level and this is at a sunken level now you have a problem the 225 may not have a problem even now if you have a smaller piece like this and if you have the back slab at a different level then you could detail it perhaps something like this only thing is you need this to be ld so whatever you have this piece plus this piece plus this piece should ensure that from the face of the beam you should have this 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 distance as ld 
yeah so that should be the anchorage length and if you want to know what is anchorage length you can again read one of our blog i will be cross-linking that in the blog as well as in the description so you can visit that particular blog and understand what is anchorage length so if you are providing this this shouldn't be a problem as long as you have designed it for the strength and you have the anchorage then you can do this now when it is 900 you might have a slight problem because you will end up having a torsion in your beam so if your beam is modeled in etaps please ensure that the torsion in that beam is not released you will have to consider torsion in this particular beam because this is a kind of equilibrium torsion especially if you don't have a slab here then the tie action of the slab is also missing so i would advise that you should not release torsion because that's equilibrium torsion again about equilibrium torsion compatibility torsion if you want to understand what it is i will cross link to another blog so all these are important points that you need to master and you need to understand so these are my tips for this particular slab design it's very easy but then there are a few more learnings in this one about torsion one about redistribution and how we can tackle this particular slab in the detail so thank you very much i hope you understood the way we can design and detail these slabs when you have a little or medium or even large projection from a beam or a slab